I am teaching people already more than 10 years and the question that bothers me mostly, why programmers failing? Because actually everybody knows that developers are earning quite a lot of money and still we are lacking programmers every day across the world. This is why in this video I want to share with you my thoughts why it is happening and maybe you can avoid it. And there are two popular misconceptions from my point of view. First of all, everybody knows that not every single person can become a programmer. And people are referring to it like you don't have a knowledge or a skills to become a programmer, so you was not born as a programmer. The second problem that I hear really often, people are saying that you are just learning programming wrong if you will do it differently then it will work for you. And I think both these problems are not real. First of all, every single person can be a developer, but obviously not every person will become a developer. Secondly, we have different ways to become a developer. For example, you can go to university, you can learn everything by yourself, you can have a mentor or maybe you attended some bootcamp. But actually there are not many differences in all these ways. You are learning coding in some way and then at some point you start doing your own projects and in some point you start working. But still only a small percent of people are becoming developers. Why is it happening? And here are my thoughts about it. But here is important to mention what companies want from you. They want you to solve some problems. It's not just about writing code. It's about solving people's problems or companies' problems. And this is really important important to remember. So I want to split my students in two different groups. First group most likely will fail and second group won't fail. And the first point here is that people who will fail normally will simply buy a course and they will just watch it maybe not even until the end. And it doesn't work like this. At the very least you must code along with this course. Why is that? Because actually if you are not an experienced developer, you can't really follow the course deeply without deep knowledge in the subject. Which means you will find a lot of different problems, you will understand your code better and you will actually code something while you are doing course. The same goes with copy-pasting. People who tend to copy-paste code from the course of the video normally start at some point to not understand the code. Yes, at the beginning it might look that the code is really easy, but at some point you really just can't follow alone because it's not clear for you. There are also some students who really ask in every single lecture, or at least really often. And I really think that these people will become a programmers, because they want to understand and know every single small detail in every single video. They are not just following alone without understanding everything, they really are focused on the learning specific subject inside the video and they want to know everything regarding it. And if they don't understand something, they are asking questions. Which brings us to the next important point. There are some people who just simply ask a question and there is other type of people which asks a question and then tries to solve it by itself. And normally I'm trying to answer in 24 hours for all these questions, which means person won't get an answer in 10 minutes. But literally 90% of the questions can be googled in 10 seconds. You can simply copy paste the question of the person to the Google and you will find answer in the first link. And all programmers must know how to Google, how to find information and how to solve their problems. This is why I 100% sure that people who are solving problems on their own and then simply after some time they are writing OK, I solved it on my own, this means they will become a developer. Also inside courses I sometimes give additional tasks that students must do on their own. But obviously they can simply continue to watch the video and show how I am solving it myself. And I see some students who really tried to solve these quizzes or tasks and they show me in comments their solutions. In this case I see that person is not only follow alone but really tries to do something by himself. And I am 100% sure that it will be much easier for him or her to find a job later. Also at the end of every single course I am given homework. And do you know how many students wrote me regarding their homework and if I can check what they did? It was 3 people in 7 years and I am 100% sure that these 3 people are developers now. One more important point which shows a lot is setting up an environment. In my courses sometimes you need to set up an API for example. And sometimes, especially in Windows, it can be quite difficult. Because you need to install additional packages. And people asking questions to help with setting everything up quite often. 
And this is totally fine. The main problem that I see here that a lot of people don't understand that setting up a project is a part of being a developer. And even if you spend like several days or a week on setting up your project, it is totally fine. You are learning something new. What is not fine is stopping to learn programming just because you can't set up something. This is part of your future job and you need to learn how to do it. And here are four important points which might help you to avoid failing. Point number one is stop memorizing code. It doesn't make any sense. You need to understand code and you need to save it somewhere so you can reuse it. And you need to understand patterns inside code, what you can use where and how you can reuse it. It's not about just memorizing letters. It doesn't bring anything to you. The next point I see really often, people are jumping in learning advanced stuff without learning basics. And I can understand that because they want to become a middle developer and senior as fast as possible. But it doesn't work this way. If you see some super advanced code, you can't really progress or you will make it really slowly. And you really want to stop learning programming just because you see something which is too complicated for your level. One more important point is to have your CV and your portfolio somewhere. If you are still learning something, it doesn't mean that you should not look for the job. Even if you don't know something fully, it doesn't mean that you can't create CV, put there some of your projects and put it on several websites where you can find your job. It doesn't make any sense to wait a half of a year or a year because you will never learn everything. You need to start today as soon as possible. Even if you don't have a lot to present, it's better now than in 10 years. And the last point that I see people are not learning consistently and they are procrastinating too much. I can understand that people want to relax and do something else, but really you can't learn programming if you are doing it just two hours in a week. It's not possible. You really need to stay consistent and do it every single day. Then the result will come much faster. I really think that every single person can become a developer, but you need to master first a set of skills that will help you to do so, and all these points that I was talking about will help you with that. And also, if you want to learn what JavaScript coding tasks, you can see most often in the interview, make sure to check this video also.